It's been a super busy shopping weekend and I took you guys with me. guys Kira here from 50 shades of mom back to share another grocery haul and meal plan and today I went into that really large Walmart that I've been dying to bring you guys to everyone keeps asking me questions in reference to the super Walmart someone was asking me how their pickup was set up did they actually bring my groceries to me in the rain so I wanted to show her that they have that huge overhang beside this is just like the largest store so today I went inside and spent $215 and got the balance of the groceries that I needed for dinners, Valentine's Day themed lunches, and the Super Bowl besides what I got at Costco. So you guys will see that Costco video later on in the week and I spent over $400 there, you guys. So it is quite the haul, but I'm excited to show you guys everything that I got. So let me take you down to the counter and I'll show you what I got at Walmart and then we'll get into the meal plan. Okay, you guys, so here is a quick overview of everything that I got at Walmart for $215. And this will be good for all of my lunches for the week, for dinners, and for Super Bowl. I did actually think of a few items that I'm going to need, but I will go shopping before actual Super Bowl. So I'll be able to pick up those few things once I narrow them down more. I didn't go in with a list, so that was my bad. But once I sit down and make more of a meal plan and narrow everything down, I'll be able to pick up any missing things Things over the weekend so here's our produce section I always do feel like produce absorbs a big chunk of my cost and especially for things like this so this was kind of pricey I think this was five dollars and change pomegranates are usually very expensive especially when you buy canisters of ones that have already been de-seeded but I really didn't want to go through the trouble of de-seeding a pomegranate and I need these for Valentine's Day lunches so my kids because they're YouTube kids are going to have Valentine's Day lunches all of next week so I can put it up over next weekend and give you guys a whole week worth of time to gather anything that you need if you want to take my ideas and use them for a week's worth of lunches for your kids because Valentine's Day falls on a Friday so I have a couple of cute things I want to use the pomegranate seeds for so I picked those up I got a bag of the mini cucumbers I got a bag of halos I did pick up this thing of watermelon, $6.98, and you can see some pieces are already starting to go, but some look salvageable, and Maya was begging for watermelon. You guys know my struggle with the watermelon, and I wanted to do a, like a red-themed salad, like using heart-shaped cookie cutters and making hearts out of the watermelon, and then putting in strawberries and raspberries and pomegranate seeds and doing like a whole red-themed fruit salad. So hopefully I can salvage something out of here. I'm going to use it for tomorrow monday's lunch right off the bat so it stays the freshest fingers crossed i can pull it off so that's what that is for two things of green onions they were 50 cents each a bag of coleslaw for egg roll in a bowl i got two things of herbs one dill and one basil for some recipes this week and then i picked up some blackberries three things of broccoli some for dinners and some for lunch and snacking one thing of the tortilla bowls like for dunking and stuff i think i'm going to use this for nachos for super bowl 
I bought more of the expensive like Siete grain free chips that I'll use for us throughout the week but I feel like this is more versatile for when we're doing nachos and stuff like the bowl kind of ones I actually did like a taco like this in my appetizer video for a super bowl and so I want to do some kind of replica of that a little bit different but that's what that is for a thing of green seedless grapes a bag of frozen corn this fresh cauliflower was on rollback, so I'm going to throw this in the freezer and use that for a dinner. One big thing of everything Italian loaf. I'll use this for a meal. I'm going to throw this in the freezer. A package of broccoli. At least I have this in case we do all of this for snacking. The other day, Maya and Jake ate a whole head, like just sitting in front of the TV. So I'd rather them eat that than crap. But then sometimes I'm like, but guys, now I don't have any broccoli for dinner. So I just got this to throw it in the freezer as a, you know, fallback for a side dish for dinner. Uh, speaking of fallbacks, I picked up a thing of chicken nuggets. I couldn't find the ones that I wanted to find in Costco. Oh, but I picked up a different kind. Oh, boo. All right, well, I'll make this for Super Bowl and I'll save the other ones for my kids. See, there's problem solving with you guys is always a win-win. So I'm gonna use this for Super Bowl. Let's pretend I planned that, okay? All right, so I picked this up for Super Bowl so that the kiddos can have chicken nuggets and the big bag that I got from Costco, I'll just use for my kiddos throughout the week for lunches and for meals for them. I did get some of these deep dish pizzas. I got the Red Baron ones for Mason because those are the ones that are just cheese. And then I got the Great Value ones, but they didn't have any that was just cheese. It was either pepperoni or a variety pack of pepperoni and sausage. They had a Supreme and then they had this three meat. So I know that Daryl and Jacob and even Maya will like the three meat, but Mason is just a cheese kind of kid. Or believe it or not, he likes mushrooms, but of course there's no mushroom on just a pizza. So I think I'm gonna get some mushrooms and maybe put them on here for him. But the cheese is just for him and the meat for everybody else. I did get some of these pagoda pork egg rolls to go along with that egg roll in a bowl. I know that kind of sounds a little oxymoron-ish, but it's totally different, right? Right, so I'm gonna give that to go with that for a dinner. I've been looking for these and they were an Ibotta rebate. And if you guys have not used Ibotta, my link is in the description box. Come and join my team and let's save money together. I've never been able to find them, but I've been on the hunt for something like this. And so it's actually like a potato that's shaped like a scoop chip. So it's good for loading it up when you're scooping like cheese or ketchup or sour cream, ranch dressing, however you like your fries. So this sounded really, really good. So we're gonna use this for bacon cheeseburgers tonight and you guys will see the review of this in an upcoming what's for dinner video i got this meal for jake i've never seen this before i feel like this would be something he would like it's a southwestern style chicken and pasta dish so i'll let you guys know in a what's for lunch video what jake thinks of this guy I did get the Betty Crocker Super Moist Strawberry Mix. The other mixes looked too red, and I'm actually using the cake mix to make a brownie. So if you've never seen that before, I'll vlog that in an upcoming video, but it's very easy to take cake mix and turn it into a brownie. So I'm gonna use this for their lunches this week. So they have like a pink, pink themed um, brownie for them to eat, and they're super delicious. I got the Swerve Brown Sugar. I was almost out of that. I got the New York Bakery Texas Toast, the cheese and garlic. We love this one the best. I got our Hershey's Simply Five Syrup. They did not have the big two pack at Costco. I was very disappointed at that. My brother does get it in the New York Long Island one, so I'm sad that mine doesn't have it, but I put in a request. Hopefully they'll get it, but I love the big double pack that Costco has because it's just such a better value, but we love this Hershey's Simply Five. I won't use anything else. It's super delicious. So this was on rollback. It's a yellow sticker. I think the yellow sticker is in the back, but these are the three cheese garlic knots. They're so good. You cook them right in the bag. How do you beat that? Like just throwing this in the oven. Yep, yellow sticker, $1.79. Absolutely love them. And like I said, they're convenient because you just cook them right in the bag. So I'm gonna throw those in the freezer for a future pasta dish. Got the kids their Pop-Tarts. They ate the last one this morning. Uh, Jacob still has tons, so he won't be needing them for at least another week or two. And then I got the Go Go Squeeze Fruit on the Go Apple Sauces. Costco didn't have the fruit and veggie ones that I wanted. Womp womp. Costco let me down just a little bit today on some things, but they made me happy in others. So it was a trade-off. 
This one has 10 apple apple, five apple peach, and five give me five, which is like uh, apple, mango, strawberry, peach, and banana. So that sounds really good and full of like really healthy antioxidants and stuff. So I got those for my kiddos. And then of course, you know, healthy to Kool-Aid Jello, but you know, everything like I say in moderation. And this is just for red themed Valentine's Day lunches. This Okay, like I just can't see this and not buy this for Jake. Like you probably only get seven cookies in this whole container anyways, but it's called the most stuff. And I think I got this for him once time before. It says back by popular demand. So maybe a year or two ago when it came out, I picked this up for him, but it's only a limited edition. It doesn't come out that often. And I think that there's so much room. I can roll this in Valentine's Day sprinkles. So I feel like I can use this for a Valentine's Day cookie treat. So this way I can get like double use out of buying this, but I saw it and had to buy it for Jake. It was just a no brainer. And then this I got for myself to make things easy. I pinned a couple of like that muddy, what is that called? I forget what they call it, but you guys know what I'm talking about. There's that puppy chow. That's what they call it. That like Chex Mix and peanut butter and powdered sugar or however that that is. I was going to make my own. I usually do make some kind of like Chex Mix every time for some kind of holiday themed. I want to use this as a basis because inside of it is already the Chex Mix pieces that are covered in chocolate and then there's pretzels covered in chocolate and then heart shaped pretzels that aren't and then the colored M&Ms and then there's also what looks like little maybe honey nut Cheerios or something covered in chocolate. If I would have bought all of those components like I had seen on Pinterest, it would have been way more expensive than the $5 that this was. So I'm just going to pop some popcorn and use my sprinkles and the few other things that I have and add it to this and save myself a whole lot of money that way and time. So I picked this up and you guys will see that in a future lunch video. I got some natural brown long grain rice that's going to be for the family for when they're eating rice and then for my pups. Oh snap pickles for Jacob and this time I'm gonna blow his mind because it's Valentine's Day and we need a red one, right? Right, so I got him the hottie bites, but he likes spicy anyway, so I'm pretty sure he will enjoy that one, but I did get him a regular one as well. All the way back there is our apple juice that we love so much and then a thing of the beef broth for French onion chicken this week. I did get a small thing of all-purpose flour. I still have coconut and I have almond flour, but I needed just a little bit of regular flour. Some things just need it. I feel like when you're dusting a board and you want something to non-stick, don't feel like the coconut flour and the almond flour do the same effect, nor do I want to waste very expensive flour for dusting and rolling and stuff. So sometimes I need this for that purpose. So I picked that up. And then someone commented when I bought that raspberry filling, the Lucky Leaf, the organic raspberry filling for Daryl's birthday. Someone commented and said it's getting harder and harder to find like the real fruit organic kind of ones like this. And this grocery store that I went to, this big large Walmart that I keep going to, they had a huge selection of this. So I was really excited to see that because I feel like I can have fun playing with these. I mean, look, just because it's organic doesn't mean it's healthy. There's still tons of sugar and stuff in here, but I'm excited because it's all red teams playing in the Super Bowl. So I kind of need a red theme for Super Bowl also. So I think I'm going to do some cherry hand pies. That sounds really, really good to me. And I'll use like powdered sugar and make a glaze and maybe I'll dust them with coconut or something. I'm not sure yet, but I just wanted to play with that because the cherries looked really, really good to me. There's actually a 50 shades of chicken recipe. That's with dark pitted cherries, which they did have those. It wasn't the organic kinds, but they had them. So if just for future reference, Last time I couldn't find the can of dark pitted cherries and I got something from Trader Joe's that didn't work the same But I saw this one had it and I was like, hmm I can go back and make that 50 recipe with the right cherries this time So that was a mental note for myself, but that will be for hand pies for Super Bowl This is also for Super Bowl the Hidden Valley Ranch the Fiesta kind got a can of tomato paste and then two big cans of tomato sauce I still have tomatoes for my mother-in-law in the pantry, but they're more like diced tomatoes 
tomatoes and they're not like thick enough to make a sauce even if you cook them all day. So I usually do two cans to one of her jars and that's like the perfect ratio, ratio for a pot of sauce. So I got those for that and then one thing of natural Jif. They had no natural Skippy and no Richard's peanut butter. So that was my only choice. So I picked that up. Got some less sodium soy sauce for the egg roll in a bowl. The Annie's is still on rollback. So I got two of the regular mac and cheese. That's like Kraft. And then another two of the white cheddar. I'm going to keep stocking up for that price whenever I see them. Just a couple each time so it doesn't break the bank. Got a bunch of biscuits. I did get these small little hot dogs at Costco. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with them. So I'm just, I bought all of this just as a not sure. So if I use this to just do pigs in a blanket, I bought two of them. And then here's the crescent rolls for those hand pies. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll do the bacon wrapped with the barbecue sauce again. I'm not really sure, but I bought that just in case. And then another double pack of cream cheese. I always need that for recipes. And I was like, ah, oh, I'm going to buy the just the whipped this time and not this, but it's Super Bowl. So this week doesn't count. Let's pretend I didn't say that last week because this week I have recipes that are just going to call for this with dips and stuff. And then I did get a regular Yoplait original yogurt. I grabbed the wrong one. I thought this was like the low fat one, but whatever. Um, I'm going to do something fun with the kids making like pops in there. And then I didn't buy any yogurt for myself. So I'll just use the little bit that's extra. I usually try and get like the no sugar ones or the two goods or something like that. But for this particular time, if the kids like it, then the little bit that I'm going to end up eating of what I'm going to make, um, is not really a big deal to me especially when i'm going to show you that i bought this toasted marshmallow mocha for myself but you guys let's see if i could show you in my little coffee thing i have so many of these like peppermint kind of pods that i will not use like french vanilla creamer for so you can see in here that i have like candy cane and this one's peppermint mocha that one's Christmas Kiss, which is like chocolate cherry. None of those would be good with Daryl's French Vanilla Creamer. And they're not carrying peppermint mocha anymore. Like, stores are already over it. So I'm not sure what I wanted to do that would be good with this. So I got the toasted marshmallow mocha. Let's hope that that's good in those flavors. Otherwise, what am I supposed to do with all those Christmassy kind of... I don't want to put them away. I have so many Christmas themed pods. I'll be drinking Christmas themed coffee until Easter. So uh, I wanted to at least have something to uh, put in that. So I got that for myself and a thing of Tropicana orange juice for the kiddos. And then I did get some of these vegan products for Paige. If she's going to be here for Super Bowl, then I want to make sure she has a variety of things that she wants to eat. And I'm going to be doing like a cheese and cracker kind of platter. And I want to be able to have one of her own just for her. So I have some vegan crackers and then I have um, these American style slices. And then I bought this tofurkey, which is a plant based deli slice and hickory smoked. So I'm just going to make her her own little like cheese, pepperoni and crackers kind of thing. If she likes it, obviously she can take home what's ever left because she's not going to eat all of this just on Sunday. But I will send home with her her what we don't use for the party but I don't want her to not have options this was on yellow sticker and this is the third less fat garden vegetable uh, cream cheese so I'm going to use this either quickly this week or I'm gonna have to find a recipe that I can use this for and freeze because this is a great price it was almost 50% off so and I love their garden vegetable I love all Philly cream cheese who am I kidding I uh, got the cheese head original string cheese my kiddos love that Got the ribeye shaved extra thin steak for these Philly cheesesteak sliders that I'm going to do this week for a dinner. Two gallons of milk just because I'm trying to avoid going back to the store until the weekend. Got a thing of chicken wing drumettes that is for Super Bowl. And then I got a thing of chicken breast. Half is for a meal and the other half is for the dogs because that worked out swimmingly. So that was it for the countertop. And then I just have a few things down here. So here is some of the great value butter rounds. This is just like Ritz crackers. It's my best substitution that is cheap and delicious until I can get back to Trader Joe's because their butter round crackers are the best. 
and then I did pick up two cereals. This guy was doing like a, he was giving out like samples in Walmart of all these little different kinds of Cheerios. And believe it or not, Maya really liked the multigrain. So I got that for them and my kids love any kind of Cheerios. I've mentioned it before that Mason calls it Bumblebee cereal because of the Honey Nut Cheerios that he used to eat as a kid. So my kids, if it circles and it's in a bowl, they will eat it. And this I bought for myself. Definitely by far not the healthiest low carb cereal at all but this is kind of like a treat for myself every once in a while I only have the portion size but I crave cereal and I find that if I don't give myself a little treat of something then I end up in the closet eating like half a box and that's not conducive to my diet at all I want to keep going and continue to just keep losing weight as I've been so by doing that I've been giving myself just tiny little concessions every once in a while and this is one of them love me some honey bunches of oats and i love the ones with almonds so got that for myself and then got more of the mission carb balance flour tortillas we love these and then we got a thing of the scott's toilet paper we were down to our last roll so that is it you guys don't you feel like that was a lot for 215 bucks i certainly do now let's get into the meal plan Okay, you guys, so here is the meal plan for Monday, January 27th through Sunday, February 2nd, which is Super Bowl, almost like a Christmas to me. So I'll be sure to share the gatherings page to show you guys what exactly we'll be doing for Super Bowl. But for today on Monday, we're doing French onion chicken. I do have a cooking recipe for that, so I'll link it up above for you. I'm gonna do that with mashed potatoes and corn. Super busy day today, we are vlogging. It was the start of Valentine's Day lunches, tons of laundry and chores, so super busy today. And looking forward to that French onion chicken because it is super easy and a wonderful twist on dinner. Tomorrow we're doing a roast beef. I have one more whole roast beef left from Costco, so I'm gonna just put that in the oven. We'll do that with leftover mashed potatoes. So that saves me time on a side dish. We'll do that with broccoli and salad. And then that day is also my mom's birthday. So shout out to my mom. I love you, mama. Happy birthday. We will definitely FaceTime over cake. And I can't wait for you to open your gift. I am so excited. On a Wednesday, we're gonna do egg roll in a bowl. Look what I wrote when I was writing. I wrote R-O-W-L like that was the mind like I knew it was going to write bowl so I don't even know I just left it because I thought it was funny but egg roll in a bowl is what we're having it's one of the pressure cooker recipes it is so so delicious it's low carb it's pinned on my Pinterest board so I'll make sure to pin everything that I have recipes for down below as well but it is so so good and we're going to do that with some of the veggie pork rolls and egg rolls and then on Thursday, I'm doing Philly cheesesteak slider. So I'm gonna use that steak meat with some peppers and onions, put it on Hawaiian rolls that I got from Costco and top it with some cheese and I'll serve that with mac and cheese. All of that sounds like something mom can have and that's okay because mom won't be here. So it says a girl's night of fun, a girl's night, girls, girls, girls. Yes, because that is the night of the Celine Dion concert. So I'm really excited. I got Vanessa tickets for her birthday for us to go see Celine Dion. We're going with Marissa and a couple of her friends and then we're gonna hit up a Mexican restaurant before we hit the concert, which is absolutely like tradition for us to hit up some kind of Mexican restaurant before we do some kind of outing. I get to have a margarita and something cheesy and delicious and then go see Celine Dion. So that sounds like a great night of fun and I'll probably vlog a little bit that day as well. Friday is chicken lanzoni. I love this dish. I do have a cooking video for it, but it's amongst a really old vlogmas video. So before I had my good camera, it's kind of a hot mess, but I will link it below and up above if you guys want to check it out. And we'll do that with garlic knots. Saturday I put breakfast and leftovers. I have a lot of errands and stuff to run to prepare for Super Bowl. So I don't really want to be cooking food. So I put breakfast because that's easy. And then I just put leftovers because I'd rather like clean out the fridge and have nothing left going into a Super Bowl. So Sunday is Super Bowl. Let me take you back to the gatherings page and I shall show you the menu. So here is our Super Bowl menu and is definitely going to change, but it's only going to be additions. So I'll be sure to vlog pieces of that day or at least share it on Instagram, the table and the settings. Like I have real football dishes. Like I usually throw Super Bowl every year. So I have like 
big heavy duty ceramic bowls and everything that are all football shaped and everything for this event so the table always looks super cool all set up I love preparing for this like this is like I said it's almost like my Christmas but I haven't nailed down what everybody's bringing yet just what Vanessa's bringing so this is all still like I said subject to change but it'll be more or less a adding to so whatever pictures I show or vlogs I show you'll be able to just get the whole full effect but for now I got chicken tacos from Costco I'm gonna put those out and then I got like chicken taquitos a couple of weeks back or a month or so maybe around New Year's I got a box of taquitos that I put away to use for uh, Super Bowl as well and then I got those little smokies and I think I'm gonna do both versions like I'm gonna do the pigs in a blanket like just regular pigs in a blanket but then I'm also going to do the bacon wrapped ones with the barbecue sauce that I did in that Super Bowl appetizer video because that was such a rave hit so so yummy and then I'm going to do the veggie egg rolls and then uh, Vanessa's bringing those cream cheese stuffed peppers I'm going to do the cheese board wait till you see all the salamis and meats and stuff that I picked up at Costco in this big container you guys will see that video on Wednesday but I got this whole like charcuterie sampler platter that I'm going to play with with cheeses and veggies and stuff like I'm really excited to do that because it just sounds delicious I'm going to do deviled eggs because I picked up a big five dozen container so I'll do deviled eggs and then Vanessa's bringing a seven layer dip and for the main course, I'm going to do these pineapple sliders. It's almost like a derivative of those Philly cheesesteak sliders, but you use ham and provolone and then grilled pineapple on those Hawaiian rolls. And then you kind of pour like a melted butter, brown sugar, garlic and onion, Worcestershire sauce mixture over the top and then bake them in the oven. So, so, so good. So I just thought that would be nice and different. I know V likes pineapple and her pizza just like me. So I thought that would be something that we would enjoy. I'm looking forward to making those. And then of course I just discovered that I'm making chicken nuggets. So I added that to the menu. And then I'm gonna pick up one of those like $5 pizzas from Walmart. I feel like that would be good just to cut up in little squares so the kids have some extra stuff to have. And then for dessert, I think Vanessa said she's bringing like a cheesecake stuffed strawberry. It sounds really, really delicious. And that's a way to do like a low carb dessert because of course you can eat the damn berries. And then if you just use, you know, cream cheese and the swerve kind of sugars and make that cream cheese filling, it that's pretty much as simple as that and they're really really yummy I've had them before and that kind of sticks with our red theme because it's the Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers in the Super Bowl and they're both like a red team so I thought I would do that cherry hand pie that sounds really delicious kind of sticking with that same color scheme and then that's pretty much it besides what else gets added to I'll probably do a Washington apple as my featured drink, which comes out red because it's cranberry juice, apple pucker, and crown royal. It's so, so delicious. It's a little on the sweet side, but I think it'll kind of fit with our red theme. Any kind of cranberry-based drink would. I will maybe also do like a cranberry margarita. I don't know. I'll go back and forth and see who wants what. I know a lot of people are bringing their own things that they want to drink, like their own beers or whatever. So we shall see what I decide to do cocktail wise but this is pretty much the premise of what we are doing for Super Bowl so that is it guys I hope you guys enjoyed this a really long as usual grocery haul meal plan if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up I love you guys all so so much if you're interested in this meal planner there's always a link in the description box and I will see you guys all in the next video bye guys